हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम टू माय चैनल योर टीचर योर फ्रेंड सो इन टुडेज वीडियो आई विल बी हेल्पिंग यू इन सॉल्विंग द बैक एक्सरसाइज ऑफ द चैप्टर प्रेजेंटेशन सॉफ्टवेयर फ्रॉम द बुक लॉग ऑन टू कंप्यूटर स्टडीज एंड दिस इज फॉर क्लास फाइव सो लेट्स गेट स्टार्टेड ए पार्ट टेक द करेक्ट वन सो नंबर वन बैच बर्लिन circuit etc are types of shapes number 2 themes can be modified by using this feature so the correct answer is variants number 3 which button is used to align the text from both the left and the right margins of the page the answer is align justify number 4 which group holds the options to insert charts in the slides the correct one is illustrations now let's begin with the b part these are the fill in the blanks let's get started number 1 the first slide of the presentation is called the title slide number 2 bullet group in the ribbon holds the options for aligning the text number 3 paragraph button is used to create an unordered list number 4 numbering button is used to create an ordered list number 5 after the chart is inserted in the slide three formatting buttons appear on the right side of the chart now see part true or false number 1 predefined layouts cannot be modified in powerpoint that is false number 2 line spacing option can be assessed from the drawing group of home tab false number 3 we can only align text in the presentation slides false fourth by default all the text is left aligned in the slides that is true number 5 gradient fill means gradually getting filled with color true again number 6 chart element button allows us to filter the chart data to display only the selected data false now the d part match the following so the first image is aligns the text to the left of the slide number 2 gives spacing between the lines number 3 aligns the text from both the left and the right margins of the page number 4 is aligns the text to the middle of the slide now the e section answer the following questions question number 1 what is a powerpoint template how will you apply a theme in powerpoint so the answer is a powerpoint template is a pre designed presentation layout with place holders for content to apply a theme in a powerpoint number 1 open your presentation Number 2 go to the design tab. Number 3 choose a theme from the thumbnails. The selected theme will be applied to your entire presentation. Question number 2 what are the various options available in the font group? So the answer is in the font group of PowerPoint the various options are number 1 font choose text style. Number 2 font size adjust text size. Number 3 bold button it makes text appear thicker and darker number 4 italic button tilts the selected text text to the right number 5 underline button it adds an underline below the selected text number 6 font color change text color question number 3 write down the steps to modify the theme so the answer To modify the theme in PowerPoint, number one, select the slide whose theme you wish to change. Number two, click on the Design tab. Number three, click on the drop-down arrow of the variants. Number four, click on the Colors option. Number five, a list of color palette will appear on the screen. Select from the required theme color. Number six, the changes will be made in all the slides of the presentation. Question number 4 write down the steps to insert word art in the slides answer to the steps to insert word art in the slides number 
go to the insert tab number 2 click on the word art in the text group number 3 select a style from the menu number 4 replace the sample text with your own number 5 customize its appearance in the word art format tab question number 5 mohan is new to powerpoint he is not able to use the insert option help him by guiding him step wise on how he can insert shapes in the presentation so answer to help mohan insert shapes in powerpoint number 1 go to the insert tab number 2 go to the shapes option number 3 now choose a shape you want to insert number 4 drag and draw some shapes on the slide number 5 the shapes can be resized as per the slide question number 6 write down the steps on how you will insert charts in the slides so the answer is the steps to insert charts in the slides number 1 click on the insert tab number 2 click on the chart command from the illustrations group number 3 an insert chart dialog box appears number 4 choose type of chart click okay number 5 a chart and data sheet will appear number 6 enter the required data number 7 the chart will be created and this is the last question question number 7 you have applied a theme in your slide but you do not like its color pattern explain how you will change the background colors to make it according to your taste so the answer is to change the background colors of a theme follow these steps number 1 click on the design tab number 2 click on the format background button number 3 choose from fill option number 4 solid fill means single color number 5 gradient fill means gradually getting filled with color number 6 picture or texture will means inserting a picture or texture in background number 7 pattern fill selects a pattern so thank you for watching this video if you found this video helpful don't forget to hit that like button leave a comment and subscribe for more content like this thank you so much